This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video review of Masterpiece MP37 Artfire. Um, Artfire was a Japanese exclusive Target Master that never came to the States. Essentially he was a redeco of Inferno, G1 Inferno, but he came with a Target Master partner. In this case, uh, Masterpiece Artfire is a redeco of Masterpiece Inferno with a uh, Masterpiece version of uh, his Target Master partner, um, Nice Stick. Um, he comes in the same size box as Inferno and Grapple. Does come packaged in his fire truck mode, in the clamshell. His accessories are a little bit limited compared to the other uh, trucks. He comes with his uh, gun here, which is the same one that came with Inferno. He comes with one alternate face here where he's yelling. Comes with, you know, a collector's card, instruction booklet. But the bigger accessory that he comes with, what's unique about uh, our fire here is he does come with his masterpiece target master here, a um, nice stick. And this is a completely new mold, and we'll get to some details to it for him in a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at uh, our fire's uh, fire truck mode. Masterpiece of our fire here, again, is a redeco of Masterpiece Inferno. And so essentially he has all the same uh, fire truck um, details that uh, Inferno has, albeit um, more toy centric because uh, our fire was a toy only character. He never showed up in any of the cartoons. Um, as such, his crane arm here can lift and raise on a ratchet. It can also collapse. Similarly, he does have the same little um, spout up front here where you can um, have it hide if you like. You can move it back and you can have it uh, fold back into the crane. You don't want to have it um, displayed out front. He does have his uh, Outriggers here, albeit they're chromed, and you can move them to the side, and they can extend downward for extra support. And you, again, you can kind of see that there's all bits of different chrome here on his uh, Fuso fire truck mode here, here on these uh, stabilizers, here on his shoulders, the front grill. There is no alternate um, grill or parts for Art Fire here, and he is a nice glossy white and red and black. He's just, you know, what you'd expect an R fire to look like. Um, we'll get to it in a little bit, but all these details here that were stickers on the G1 toy are actually tampographed and then tampographed on um, very nicely. Just like Masterpiece Inferno, you can take his gun and there is a slot um, here on the uh, back side of the uh, cab here where you can store his gun. And then we'll jump ahead to uh, Nightstick here. So Nightstick here is, again, a, an original mold. His head can rotate side to side. You can see he's got some nice detail on it. His arms here are on ball joints with ball jointed elbows, and individual hands, ball jointed knees with a nice knee bend and he holds together very well. Most of the gun parts here are hidden quite well. And his uh, transformation into his gun mode is actually a little unique for some of the other masterpiece style uh, target masters we've gotten so far. Uh, to transform uh, nice stick into his gun mode here, we want to pull up on his torso, which can be a bit tricky to kind of get it started, and it'll cover his head like that. And that gives us clearance to now rotate up and lock his waist into this position. The legs will fold back. There are tabs here in the feet between the legs that will peg together. And then it'll actually sit here on the back of his uh, chest like that. We can take the uh, gun parts here and it's on multiple hinges and we'll fold it all up. This little piece kind of folds up to kind of mimic the guns on the original G1 toy. The cannon part here will stretch out forward. The arms will go to the side. You'll rotate the um, arms here with this tab and now the tab will fit into the side of the body so that they sit flush against the sides of the vehicle. And this is his uh, core mode. And I'll get to it in a little bit, but he can actually be held um, both with a handle as well as in his uh, kind of Japanese target master mode where it just pegs in onto uh, um, Art Fire's hand here. But to pull out the handle, we flip out this under part here and then the handle will also come forward. And you can see that there's now uh, a peg as well as little handles here. So it will peg into his hand. And it's a very secure um, little gun mode here. And then of course what's nice is Art Fire here, just like Inferno, it's got a little port, and then you can go ahead and you can plug in um, Nightstick to the top here, and you can have Nightstick uh, in Art Fire here be armed with this Target Master. Very, very cool. Um, same great uh, detail and posability, and just a nice version here of a uh, Art Fire for Masterpiece Collections. So let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, transformation into his robot mode. 
Now, because I've transformed this uh, figure uh, several times before on video, um, I'll go through his transformation fairly quickly. So first we'll remove nice stick. We will collapse the ladder like we have previously. We can remove the gun, take the ladder, uh, bend it at this point, and then fold it back so it sits into this channel like that. Come to these back panels, pull them apart, and they'll untab from this back section here. Come to the front of the vehicle here. These little white panels will fold fully in on each side. Now the arms can uh, lift up and we take the legs and we'll split them and that'll release this uh, backpack kind of panel here. We want to rotate down the legs, each one of them 90 degrees. Flip this panel um, on the side to the back. Come to the front here. The front wheels here will uh, unpeg from the front and they'll splay out a little bit, giving us some room. Come to these little panels here, flip them out. Flip this panel up. That'll let you pull the head and his wings upward, like so. Take the wings, fold them up into the side, get them out. We'll rotate his head around. Come to the arms here. This panel will rotate inwards like that. And then the arm will hinge and rotate and then peg up into itself like that. And we do the same thing on the other side. We will rotate this panel, hinge this forward, rotate it, and then bring it back up, pegging it into the side of the robot mode. Now we can take his backpack and hinge his uh, torso fully up. And then the backpack will kind of fold in on itself like this. And then it'll all sandwich in and peg in to his back nice and securely. We can take these wheels now and they will hinge upwards. And again, there's these little tabs here at his torso. So these will peg in on both sides. Come to the feet. Hinge the foot forward, push this panel inward, and then close this little heel piece. Take the side of his leg, hinge it downward, locking it in place, and make sure you push out on this little uh, hip piece here. So the same thing, lift this up, ratchet it forward, close this up, close that up. Again, nice clean uh, Masterpiece Inferno transformation here. And then it's just a matter of kind of getting him all situated. And here is Masterpiece Artfire in his robot mode. Taking a closer look here at Artfire's robot mode, you can see where all the toy aesthetics have come through. Um, all the bits of chrome, tamper graphing here, tamper graphing in the arms, overall bits of paint um, throughout. Again, very nice um, reuse of the Masterpiece um, Inferno mold. You can see here on his hips, he's got the little sticker detail that used to be there. Now it's tamper graphed here on his hips, on his thighs, on the lower leg here. Very nice bits of detail. The feet, again, dead on to what the original G1 toy looked like as far as its stickers, just now done in tamper graphs. Um, one quick note, you can kind of see here where these little um, stickers or tamper graphs can, are a little off uh, kilter. What you can do is actually pull them out and because this little piece rotates, you can rotate them if they're ever um, a little odd. Just push it back. Same great posability as Masterpiece Inferno, where the head boss can move side to side. You can see some paint, uh, red paint detail back there to kind of uh, highlight the head. The head inside can also rotate on a ball joint and look up and down. These little wings can move. The gun can lift up and down. Ratcheted arms outward as well. Bicep swivel. Curling elbow, hands can rotate, uh, fingers as far as one set of fingers overall. He does have a uh, waist joint, move side to side. Again, you can see those little bits of uh, sticker detail. Ratcheted legs forward and back and to the side. 
deep knee bends, deep ankle tilts, and again, ratcheting forward and back as far as the toe. So just like Inferno, he can um, wield his gun. It just pegs into the uh, slot here within his palm and he holds securely. What's different, um, the main, one of the main differences here for uh, Artfire is that unlike Inferno who had uh, one cannon arm, uh, Artfire here has two. So we can open this up. You can see he's got the standard um, nozzle that can come out here. So we'll flip the hand in, flip the nozzle out. And he's got his nozzle on one side, but then he also has the same hand um, that Grapple had. So you can have nozzles on, you know, enabled on either side, just like kind of like the G1 toy. And so, like the original Target Master, we can take um, Nightstick here. And the original, you know, the Japanese way of uh, having a Target Master is it just plugged in onto the end of the hand. So you can replicate that by uh, removing this chrome bit here. And then that little piece here, like you had on um, Inferno, just matches now this back end of Nightstick. And he just plugs in there. And so you can have uh, Artfire here hold his uh, Target Master like uh, the G1 um, Target Master cartoon and toys. But alternative, if you like, you can um, unpeg uh, Nightstick there. And we'll go ahead and bring his fist back out. There is the peg here on um, Nightstick where we can flip it out and it fits in to his hand as any uh, kind of standard um, kind of masterpiece gun here. So nice bits of options here for Artfire. Next, nice uh, reuse of this mold um, for uh, Artfire here. And then finally, real quick, he does have the alternate face. So it changes just the same as Inferno. So we just lift up on the helmet Kind of bring the head forward. We can lift off that one normal faceplate. Install the other one just by pegging it on to the front. Sliding the helmet back onto his face. And we've got now we've got the yelling or crying version of Art Fire here ready to uh, display on our shelf. Very cool. And now on to some comparisons. Comparing Masterpiece Art Fire with Masterpiece Inferno and Masterpiece Grapple, you can see how they all use the same base mold, but how really Art Fire is a reuse of the Inferno mold. But more toy aesthetics, the silver here on his face, overall chrome, uh, toy details here throughout, uh, glossy red paint. Just overall a lot nicer details on Martin Art Fire to kind of match that toy version of the Target Master. And, you know, the three of these look good um, side by side here in the robot mode. So you get the same great um, toy overall from Art Fire here in the middle as you did with Inferno and Grapple. Comparing vehicle modes for Inferno, Art Fire, Grapple, you can see how they are all, again, the same base Fuso um, truck, either a fire truck or a crane. Um, these all have the chrome parts on um, to match the toy a little bit better. But you can see how the details specifically across um, Art Fire and Inferno are a little bit different with the bits of chrome, the stickers, just the overall paint, and the way the tampographs graphs look. And you know, it's nice to have all three of these trucks uh, in an official Masterpiece capacity. Road Mill comparison, some other official and unofficial uh, Masterpiece figures. Here we've got Made Toys uh, Downbeat or Jazz, Art Fire, Masterpiece Ironhide, and Masterpiece Wheeljack. You can see how well Art Fire here works. Um, with some toy specific decos, like here I have repro labels on, Wheeljack and Downbeat, and you can see how they all look um, side by side. And you can also see how tall um, Nightstick here is in his robot mode um, next to these other official uh, product. Nice uh, robot mode here from uh, Artfire. Matches, you know, again, other Mastery figures just like Inferno and Grapple. Vehicle mode comparisons, and again, you can see how uh, Art Fire's fire truck mode here, just like Inferno and Grapple, matches uh, the scale set by other Masterpiece cars here. There's an overall, you know, another excellent release here from Takara Tomy, and another excellent use of this uh, Masterpiece mold. 
Some final thoughts here for MP37 Masterpiece Artfire. Um, just like Inferno and Grab Bolt, this is another excellent reuse of this mold to give us the uh, Japanese exclusive Target Master here in uh, Masterpiece form. You get a very nice Toy Acura Deco with some very nice Tampa graphs, the same great engineering, nice paint and chrome, and then you get a really nice version of a Masterpiece Nightstick here that transforms uh, quite well and can be uh, you know, held in multiple ways to uh, keep them armed. So Masterpiece to Artfire here is currently in stock at the Chosen Prime. If you'd like to add Artfire to your Masterpiece collection alongside other Autobots or Diaclone-esque releases, he does come recommended. It's another excellent release from Takakara Tomi, so take care.